Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Before starting our discussion, let's have some revision of the previous lecture. We had introduction of physics. The word physics means nature and is simply defined as the study of matter, energy and interaction between matter and energy. Matter is anything which has weight and occupies space. Matter is found in four forms, solid, liquid, gas and plasma. Energy is capability or capacity to interact with matter. Energy is found in different multiple forms like heat energy, sound energy, light energy, electric energy, etc. Physics is a broad subject and therefore to make its study convenient it is categorized into branches like mechanics, heat, sound, light, electricity and magnetism, atomic physics, nuclear physics, plasma physics, geophysics. Dear students, as you know, we are learning unit number one, titling as physical quantities and measurement. Physical quantities and their measurement is at the heart of studying physics. Remember that at grade 9 you keep on learning about what are physical quantities and how to measure them. So let's start with our today's discussion. Physical quantities. All measurable quantities are called physical quantities. For example, length, mass, time, force, weight, volume, speed, temperature, pressure, etc. etc. A physical quantity possesses at least two characteristics in common. Numerical magnitude, unit in which it is measured. The concept of physical quantity is very straightforward. For example, if we are given a task to find the length of a classroom, length is denoted by L, and after measurement, you get the length of a room as 5 meter. Here, 5 is the magnitude, numerical magnitude, and M is the proper unit of the physical quantity length. Similarly, if you weigh a stone and its mass which is noted by M appears to be 2 kilogram. In this example, 2 is the numerical magnitude of mass and kg is the proper unit of the physical quantity mass. In the same way, whenever you measure any physical quantity you write it, express it in two fashion, write its numerical magnitude along with the proper unit. Types of physical quantities. Physical quantities are divided into base quantities and derived quantities. Let's first discuss base quantities. There are seven physical quantities which are form the foundation for other physical quantities. These physical quantities are called the base quantities. Base quantities can also be defined as base quantities are the quantities on the basis of which other quantities are expressed. For example, length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, intensity of light, and the amount of a substance. So dear students, how many base quantities are there? Only seven. Length, mass, time, electric current, temperature, intensity of light, and the amount of a substance. Out of these seven basic quantities, at this level, you only learn and talk about 
on first five quantities length mass time electric current temperature dear student as you just come to know that there are only seven base quantities now let's discuss derived quantities what is the definition of derived quantities those physical quantities which are expressed in terms of base quantities are called derived quantities we can also say the quantities that are expressed in terms of base quantities are called derived quantities for example area volume speed force work energy power electric charge electric potential etc etc so dear students there are only seven base quantities and many many derived quantities are there dear students as i just told you that each and every physical quantity is measured and expressed numerically along with the suitable unit units are so to understood throughout the globe with complete agreement for this reason scientists have developed a standard which is known as international system of unit what is it with the development in the field of science and technology the need for commonly acceptable system of unit was seriously felt all over the world particularly to exchange scientific and technical information the 11th general conference on weight and measures held in paris in 1960 adopted a worldwide system of measurement called international system of units the international system of units is commonly referred as si system of units dear students similar to base quantities and derived quantities there are base units and derived units so let's first talk about the base units how to define base units the units that describe base quantities are called base units each base quantity has its si unit dear student this table 1.1 contains base quantities their si units with symbols here you see that the first column of this table contains physical quantities length mass time electric current intensity of light temperature and amount of substance length is simply uh, written as small l mass is by small m time is by small t electric current is by capital i intensity of light by capital l temperature is by capital t and amount of substance by small n so the physical quantity length has unit meter the physical quantity mass has unit kilogram time is expressed in seconds electric current is expressed in amperes intensity of light is expressed in candela temperature is expressed in kelvin amount of substance is expressed in mole so there are seven base quantities and accordingly there are seven suitable base units the first column expresses the physical quantity the second column expresses the shorthand notation for physical quantities similarly the third column expresses the unit and the fourth column expresses the shorthand letters for units of physical quantity so dear students this table is very simple and easy to memorize and this table is a table for base units as there are only seven base units so nothing is difficult you can easily easily memorize it so again length 
mass, time, electric current, intensity of light, temperature, amount of, sub of a substance. Seven base quantities and meter, kilogram, second, ampere, candela, kelvin, mole. Their suitable proper units. So there are seven base quantities and seven corresponding base units. Derived units. The units used to measure derived quantities are called derived units. Derived units are defined in terms of base units and are obtained by multiplying or dividing one or more base units with each other. You see table 1.2. It contains derived quantities and their SI units with symbols. Again, it has four columns. The first column represent uh, some some derived quantities. Here, speed, acceleration, volume, force, pressure, density, charge, etc. These are the derived quantities. Uh, usually, we represent any physical quantity by their symbols. V is the symbol for speed similarly a is the symbol for acceleration v is the symbol for volume f is the symbol for force you see that sometimes or mostly we take the first letter of a word for its symbol similarly the third column show the proper unit of derived quantities speed is represented by meter per second acceleration is represented by meter per second per second Similarly, volume, cubic meter, force is represented by Newton, pressure is represented by Pascal, density, kilogram per cubic meter, charge, coulomb. Dear students, this table of derived uh, units contains some of physical derived quantities and their units. You see that the first example given here, speed is expressed by two base quantities namely the length and time and you know the length is expressed by meters and the time is expressed by second so many of the physical quantities are interrelated for example in this table you see that physical quantity of speed is related to two other physical quantities namely length and time 